Hola everybody and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. I love to share DIY videos and inspiration for home decor, travel, food, fashion, beauty, all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for the notifications so you don't miss a video. I'm so excited about today's project. It is a DIY glue gun stand and it's made from Dollar Tree products. All you'll need for the project is a trivet. This is a glass trivet. I got the square one and you'll need a business card holder. I was looking for the black ones, but um, they came out with these pretty aqua colored ones. So I thought that looks fun. And a pencil holder also from the Dollar Tree. So these matchy matchy. This, this was my previous, or technically it's my current glue gun stand holder situation. Literally a piece of cardboard <laughs> and it's got the glue all over it. I just lay it like that. And I did make this cute little, I wrapped this baby food jar with some twine and put a little flower on top or on top in front. And I put my glue sticks in there, but I think I've got a better situation, a better solution for this. I'm going to be adhering it with some E6000. I'm not really a big fan of E6000, but we're, we're going to hope that it, it works for me today. While this is a nice scene on the trivet, it's not really the vibe I'm going for. It doesn't really match this other things that I'm going to be attaching to it. So I'm going to remove the backing and I hope it's not too hard. We shall see. I now have the majority of the sticker off. I mean, but it's still pretty sticky. So I'm going to get my Goo Gone and try to wipe that off. This is the Goo Gone product that I'm using today. I'm not sure if you can get it at the Dollar Tree or not, maybe, but I think you can get it at Dollar General for sure. This takes off goo and adhesive. So that's going to work great on this. We removed the backing, cleaned it off, and now we have kind of a frosty clear trivet to work with. So I'm going to put it down here. I'm not one that tries to make everything perfect, but this is how I was thinking to set it up. I'm going to glue down using the E6000. I'll glue this down in this corner and then I'm going to put the this business card holder thing here and then the glue gun will just rest on there. See, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, but that way I mean, this is cute, but you know, it would just look cuter and a little bit neater, hopefully. And then if any glue drips down on, it's on dripping onto glass. So it should be able to be easily removed instead of just gobbing up like it is over here on this stand. I'm going to work with this part first. Like I said, I think I'm going to put the glue on this, the bottom of it, and then position it where I want it. E6000 does create a lot of fumes. It's kind of smelly. And I'm not trying to be all goopy with it either. So I'm just going to put that much on. I don't anticipate us needing to move it or like hold anything with it. I'm just trying to stick it to glass. I'm trying to do it so in theory, oops, in theory the holder would be on the glass part. So I don't want to set it so far that it the glue, you know, goes down onto the table. So if I do it right there, we should be good. Probably should mark it, but I'm not going to. So what annoys me is when I see people squeezing the E6000. It's like the toothpaste thing. You squeeze from the bottom. Anyway, a little side note. And I, I purchased the clear. That's where we're putting it. So with E6000, you need to allow 24 hours for curing before you do anything with it. So we shall let it cure for 24 hours. The E6000 has cured for 24 hours and as you can see, it is done. This is how the project turned out. I think it turned out super cute. It's functional, it's organized, and it's gonna keep me neat and tidy. So very, very happy with how it turned out. If you guys like this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. I hope you also subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications so you're notified every time I create a video. 
And if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.